everyone, it's Julia with The Fashion Spot, and we are here with noted fashion photographer Nigel Barker from America's Next Top Model. I'm sure you never get that. No, I've never heard that before, actually. Noted for having my fingernails done. <laughs> we are at Ford Artist Beauty Suite in the Hudson Hotel. Um, we are surrounded by amazing hair and makeup artists and nail artists as well. I know you recently came out with the Beauty Equation. I did, yeah. And I know we are surrounded by professionals, but for every day, what is the number one piece of beauty advice? Well, I mean, I mean, the Beauty Equation, the whole point I wrote the book was really to sort of talk to people about the fact that to be beautiful isn't the same thing as to be pretty. Um, and to truly be beautiful is about the way you lead your life. And as a photographer, who obviously is a fashion photographer, works with people, shoots lots of portraits, in order for me to capture a beautiful picture, the most important thing is for you to have an interesting life, is for you to be passionate about life, to be spontaneous, to be confident, to be compassionate. Because if, I, if you don't have those elements about your personality, that no matter what your facade looks like, no matter how amazing these artists are around us, whatever they do to tweak us, if you're not shining from within, I can't make my picture come alive. And so the book talks about all these other elements. I do talk about hair and makeup, and I, I don't have any do's and don'ts though. What I'm about is, again, it boils down to confidence. If you're a goth, be a goth. If you're a punk, be a punk. I love the fashion crazies. I love fashion week because people rock all kinds of craziness. Stuff that most of us can't pull off because we don't have the confidence or we, or it's just not us. But ultimately, be yourself. That's the number one um, piece of advice I have for anybody because our, it's our imperfections, I think, that make us beautiful. And I, I believe that this individual inside every one of us we just got to let it shine out. How has the book been received thus far? Have you gotten been great. Positive feedback? Great. Absolutely. We've been all over the world with it. Um, I was in Europe just uh, before Christmas, and uh, we've been all over the United States, 18 countries in the US. We're about to go to Asia. Um, we're going to the Philippines, we're going to Hong Kong, we're going to Singapore. Um, a lot of fun. We have Beijing, Shanghai, and uh, it's got an international response. And we have a great website called beautyequation.com and a blog part of it called B1. And it's a huge forum with literally tens of thousands of people checking it out and talking about their own stories. Anyone can post a story. And we've had incredible stories. People who have told me about life changing experiences they've had, not necessarily from because of the book, sometimes because of the book, but often just to help you know, talk to the audience that reads the book to say, look, these are things that have happened to me in my life that have changed my life. Girls who have suffered from cancer, who thought they you know, weren't beautiful, but then actually almost having cancer, getting through that, built their confidence up, and gave them a, a renewal in life. And as a result, you know, they're, they're basically saying the scars that they have are now more about who they are than before when they had the scars. So I think that's a very wonderful story. You are no stranger to traveling, no. obviously, a photographer, and you were a model before being a photographer, correct? That is true. That was a long time ago, <laughs> late 80s. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, it was a bit, a bit of fun. It was my way into this business. Being at Fashion Week right now, do you have any twins, twinges of nostalgia, kind of seeing models, and is that something that you would ever want to revisit? <laughs> well, yeah, no, and uh, it was not something I'd ever want to revisit. It's been a long time, like I said, and you know, but that being said, it's not really nostalgia really, because I'm still doing it. I'm still a part of the whole process, and I love the process. You know, and, and for me, you know, life is about change, um, and you know, and looking into the future. And I try to have no regrets about the past, and you know, I love all elements of it, and I don't feel like I've left it. I'm now, you know, lucky enough to be invited to quite a few fashion shows, and I get to enjoy all of that part of it, and the behind the scenes, and you know, my company produces films and videos for behind the scenes, and as well as the actual, you know running the, the entire shows. We have a couple of shows we're doing today. The Pamela Rowland Show. Uh, my uh, company, we are the creative directors for that company, for, for Pamela Rowland. And we're producing videos for them and helping run the entire show. So, you know, it's exciting for us in many respects. Speaking of models, America's Next Top Model, are you currently casting for the next season? We are. Season 17 is casting right now. Season 16 starts airing February 23rd. Um, and uh, yeah, we're very, very busy with that. We've got some incredible shoots on. I shoot four times this season in Top Model. And I, I, for me, it's one of the most exciting seasons we've ever done. We go to Morocco, which is one of my favorite places Amazing. in the world. You, America's Next Top Model has been around. It's an institution. And You're wonderful, by the way. I'm sitting here <laughs> trying to talk to you to get my hand massaged. And I'm like, wait a second, what happened? It's, it keeps on upping the ante. I mean, with the addition of new judges and new trips and new challenges, what can viewers expect this year that or this season that they've never seen before? Well, 
like I said, we go to Morocco, which we've never been to before. It's a, a whole other take on the Arab world. And don't forget, right now, everyone, as you know, all we're seeing of the Arab world is revolution and what have you. And, you know, and it's, there's a very much one kind of sided view that we see on TV when it comes to the Arab world, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to take top model there. You know, it's one of the number one locations for a fashion shoot. Um, Italian Vogue, uh, Franco Cesani, who is an editor in chief, um, she has a house in Marrakesh. You know, we shoot there, it's stunning. Um, and uh, Andre Leontali, editor at large of American Vogue, is back as a permanent judge again. It's uh, seriously a uh, high fashion season. Uh, incredible photographers, great guest judges, and uh, you know, like I said, we up the ante. It's never a dull moment on Top Model. We don't change the recipe too much, but the ingredients fresh as is every season. I love that. Well, we'll let you get back to your manicure. Thank you so much for your time. And for all of our Fashion Spot viewers, please check out the Pamela Roland show behind the scenes and pick up Nigel's new book, Beauty Equation. Thank you.